right, so Tori Spelling is opening up about why she and Dean McDermott sleep in separate beds. Speaking on Jeff Lewis Live, Tori admitted that at the moment, Dean is currently sleeping in another room. While Dean was away filming for six months, Tori said their kids just got used to sleeping with her. Have a listen. Since he left, he was gone for six months filming in another country. They all stayed with me. So I currently still have four in the bedroom with me mm -hmm. who have yet to go back to their rooms. They have beds in there okay. and two sleep in bed with me okay. and pets and three dogs. Al, what do you think of this? I think somebody's setting up a barrier. <laughs> What do you mean? I think that she's literally, you know, like you have sandbags yes. when it's about the flood. Stop. She's doing Don't that with her in. kids and, yeah. her, and her pets. Like, it, look, if you want to get close to your husbands, which the three of you do, I don't think that you would have a wall of, of organisms around you. <laughs> you can send those kids back to their beds, which I'm sure are very nice. You can send those dogs back to their $500 beds, which I know is very nice. I don't think she wants to be intimate with her husband. And I think a lot of couples, uh, straight, gay, or all in between some couples are more sexual than others and this doesn't seem like a very sexual couple well they've had their fair share of controversy yes. and they've both been honest about it right he has uh, not been faithful to her many times and it's rocked their marriage and they didn't know if they were going to make it so perhaps this is repercussions from that however I do think that in a marriage you are going to go through ups and downs it may not even be your marriage but just like when I first had Sophie and Miles Mark didn't always sleep in the bed with us because I was always up nursing Miles or Sophie so but then he you know, ends up being back in the bed. When I lost baby, Sophie, our dog, uh, Sophie wanted to sleep in our bed um, because we both miss baby because baby used to sleep in my bed. So then Mark <laughs> back in the bed. So I just want to make sure that the people out there that do go through those ups and downs, it doesn't mean that it is a representation of a lack of intimacy or a representation of a failure of your marriage. I think it's a representation that you guys need to have a conversation. Oh, for sure. I, I think that you're right. I, I don't want to say it's gloom and doom and nothing can be be rectified from it, but I think that any couple can really st speak to this. I mean, a lot of people's relationships change during the pandemic, and if you aren't communicating on a regular basis about the things that have changed and how to make them better, then ultimately that cloak of silence becomes the cloak of self separation. Mm -hmm. So the truth is, you do have to communicate about it. I don't know. I just I and this is just me. My love language is obviously a little bit more like physical touch. I don't do well separated from Brooks. That's I need great to you be, know that. And I know that, and I. It's a little codependent. I also know that. It's a little enmeshed. I know that. But I know I sleep better, and our relationship is stronger because of that. You're, but I don't. No, I you're do, right. Yeah, because yeah, I've done both. Right, right, right. right. The circumstances uh, brought that on to my husband and I. But I know that when Mark and I are in the same bed, our relationship feels stronger, yeah. more connected. We're more connected. So you're absolutely right but, about that. But, and some people have it because of sleep apnea and snoring. Right. It's a real issue. I'm being honest. Some people have to sleep in another room so we're not putting you down or putting saying you're not intimate and all but that again that's a conversation you've probably had like hey I love you but when you start to nod off during law and order I'm gonna sneak over to the other bedroom or the couch but if you don't have that conversation it can build resentment because you don't yeah. understand so you're gonna, you're gonna, and it can you're grow. gonna it fill can grow. the holes in with whatever you think and I think that's where the problem comes in and it's like no you just snore it's like oh I thought you hated me those are two different things right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> important to talk about yeah, right. well said